It's homecoming 1981 at the University of Tennessee on the Knoxville campus. And on Friday afternoon, a gorgeous autumn afternoon, the homecoming parade. Featuring the University of Tennessee Pride of the Southland Band leading the way. Float decorations done by the various campus organizations. Fraternities, sororities, dorms. The largest number of entrants ever in a homecoming activity at the University of Tennessee. And thousands of students, alumni, and football fans in general clog the streets around the campus to take part in homecoming 1981. The music is Rocky Top, the unofficial, soon probably to become official fight song of the University of Tennessee. Hours and hours of work go into these floats as done by the various campus organizations. And then it's Saturday, and it's time for the football game at Neyland Stadium. And right now, it's football time in Tennessee. Over 90,000 fans in the stands for this afternoon's game between Tennessee and Wichita State. The toss of the coin is won by Tennessee. And the volunteers will elect to receive number 47 is Lamont Holt Jeffers. Number five will be the starting quarterback, and that is Jeff Olszewski. It will be Biscup to kick off for Wichita State, and this homecoming game is underway. Under the ball, Willie Gall to Tennessee. Here he comes straight up the middle, gets a little opening, but then is pounded down as he moves the ball to the volunteer 32-yard line. Olszewski will be the quarterback. The running backs will be at fullback, Doug Furness. The tailback is James Berry. Tennessee lines up with the strength of the formation to the right side as Olszewski throws the football. It is complete. Hancock behind the line of scrimmage, then moves forward to the 36, maybe the 37-yard line. Again on the play of five yards, it's second down and five. Wichita State aligns itself in a 5-2 defense, playing just a bit off as far as the linebackers are concerned. Tennessee with the football. It's Olszewski on a pitch, swinging around the right side of the line. James Berry carries forward for a gain of three, leaving it third down and two. Ball rests at the volunteer 40-yard line. Olszewski, play action, will run. 40, 45, first down out to the 47-yard line. A second look from the end zone. Olszewski, senior, Palmer, Ohio, fakes that pitch, and there he sees the crease, and he comes dashing forward for a gain on the play of seven yards. It will be first down, 10 to go for the Volunteers at the 48-yard line of Tennessee. In the I formation, 34, Berry standing at the tailback. This is Furness, gets an opening, great cutback, spins and fights his way forward for a gain of seven yards. A second look from the press box level as Furness Cuts back there, and you see twists and turns forward for a pickup of seven. And it will be second down and three yards to go for Tennessee. Nothing to nothing to score. Furnace again, right side, he's got a first down. Pounding behind the blocking of North and Mayo for a pickup of, well, not quite enough for a first down, as a matter of fact. This will be Furnace, and this time he carries for the first down. And it will be for the ball's first down and 10 to go at the 41. That's the first down. And it will be Tennessee still moving with the ball in the scoreless game. Pitch to Barry. Barry behind Furnace's box. Block then swing around the end and moves the ball forward for a gain of two or three yards. And it will be second down upcoming. Here's the reverse. The pitch to golf. Needs the block in the corner. Turns. Nobody there. And he's going to be dropped for no gain. Good defensive pursuit by Wichita State on the play as golf is stopped for no gain. And it's third down and right at five and a half, six yards to go. Olszewski for Tennessee will pass. The pass is incomplete. Knocked out by Stewart, intended for Wilson. Stewart almost with a chance for the clean interception. Fourth down into punt will be John Warren. The punt by Warren is a high one, angling toward the near sideline. Tennessee downfield wanting to cover the ball. It bounces out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Fine punt by Warren. First down, 10, Wichita State. Number one is McJunkins. 
He's the quarterback handing off to the fullback O'Neal. Turns up the middle for a gain of two. It'll be second down, eight yards to go. Again, O'Neal, big hole. O'Neal with the football, fighting his way for the first down as he grinds it out past the 20-yard line to the 21 and a half. First down, 10, Wichita State. Mac Junkins at quarterback. This is Mac Junkins on the option. Will turn 25 and is shoved out of bounds as he moves to the 26-yard line. Wichita State with the football. Mac Junkins passing downfield. It is complete. Taken for the first down. As it was Murphy who pulls it down. And it's first and 10 at the Wichita State 45-yard line. No score. Handoff, big hole left side, O'Neal. As they're trapping Tennessee in the middle, and O'Neal this time pops free for a gain of 14 yards. A second look, there you see the trap block. There you see the move by O'Neal. He's wrestled down by Jeffers, but it's a first down at the Volunteer 41-yard line. O'Neal again for yardage up the middle. He fights forward for five yards. Nothing you nothing to score, but Wichita State is moving with the football. Mac Junkins will turn and will pick up yardage as he moves it close to a first down. A couple of yards short, it's going to be third down upcoming. Mac Junkins again rolling to the right, will pull it down, will fight through one tackle, will carry for the first down to the 29-yard line. Great effort by Mac Junkins. Now it's Mac Junkins coming to the near side. He'll carry the ball, breaks a tackle, and fights his way, as you see on that replay, for the first down. It's first down, out of the shotgun. Mac Junkins, countering back, breaks a tackle. There he is at the 20, 15, 10, 5, into the end zone. Touchdown, Wichita State. A second look from the end zone. Mac Junkins, as you see, now he counters back against the flow. Shows speed and great agility. Touchdown, Wichita State. The Shockers lead for well, the extra point. Attempt it is up, and let's see. Barely inside the right upright, and Wichita State takes the lead at homecoming for the Volunteers of Tennessee. It's 7 to nothing. Biscup will be kicking off. Relatively short goal to the 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. Out to the 32, 30, maybe a little beyond. It'll be the 37-yard line. 29-yard return. Here's a second look from the sideline by Golf. Straight up the middle. There he makes that little move and was close to breaking it, as a matter of fact, but was tackled by Hendricks. First down, 10. Tennessee with the football, trailing 7 to nothing. Handoff. This will be on the reverse. With it is Hancock, and he twists forward, falling for a pickup of six yards on the play. It'll be second down, four at the 43. Tennessee in possession in Tennessee territory. Furnace. Hole driving. He's got a first down as he moves past midfield. Carrying it well, actually, to the 50-yard line. First down and 10. Olszewski, play action. Rolls right, will throw. No, he'll run. Pulls it down to the 45. Dives into the 43 for the pickup of seven. From the sideline, a second look as Olszewski off play action. Fakes the give to Furnace, then rolls right. Pumps once, turns, and dies for the gate of seven yards. It will be second down and three yards to go. Against a four-man state front. Tennessee with the strength of the formation to the left. Here is Alvin Tolles, freshman. He's got running room. Straight up the middle, he bangs it forward. Pounding forward for a gain of seven yards. A second look from the end zone. Watch the blocking of Tennessee's line. There you see them sealing them off. And there you see Alvin Tolles, the freshman, carrying for a first down. Ball rests at the 36-yard line of Wichita State. Seven-nothing the score. Wichita State leading. Olszewski on the pitch, Berry turns behind the block of Furnace, carries the ball forward, and he sweeps for the gain of a couple of yards. Second down, eight. 62, Tennessee's offensive guard, David James, setting up beside center Lee North. The quarterback is Jeff Olszewski. Wichita State in a five-man front. Olszewski with a straight drop to throw. Waiting, here's the pass across the middle, complete. This is Berry with the football. And Berry moves for the gain of seven yards before he's knocked down. That's the end of the first period. And at the end of the first quarter, the score remains Wichita State 7, Tennessee nothing. Now the Volunteers will be moving toward the south end of the football field. 
against a stuttering, jumping Wichita State defense. The handoff goes to Furnace, and Furnace comes bombing straight up the middle. Needed a yard, got three. It's first down, 10 to go for Tennessee at the 24-yard line. Tennessee with the football. Ocheski off play action, rolling to the right, may run, no throws. Pass complete, handcuff, breaks the tackle, carries ball inside the 10-yard line. He is nailed as he moves to the eight. Oshesky freezing the linebackers with the play action fake there to Barry. Now rolls right, started a run, then ripped the pass. It's complete. Great move by Hancock on the second look you see him moving the ball to the eight yard line. It will be first down and goal to go for Tennessee. The ball's lining it up now with two tight ends of the football game out of the I formation against a four man front. Pitch. Barry gets a block from Furnace. Has the ball at the five. Carries it to the three. Still struggling. Fumbles the football. It is rolling at the six-yard line, and let's wait and see. Wichita State appeared to get there first. Tennessee is signaling it has the football. Wichita State says we have it, and still waiting for the sign for the referee. Tennessee recovers the bobble. The Vols retain possession. It will be still goal to go. Second down. Jeff Olszewski for Tennessee. His team trailing 7-0. Pass into the end zone. It is complete. What a catch by Hancock. Olszewski to Hancock, who pirouettes at the last moment to get in position. Here you'll see that turn right at the last moment for the touchdown catch by Anthony Hancock. It is now State 7, Tennessee 6. In to attempt the extra point will be Fuad Rave. Holding will be Ocheski. Seven to six, the extra point is up. The referee says that the kick is good and the score is tied at seven to seven. Tennessee will be kicking off with Reves. Here he comes with the boot, high and long and State backs up and the ball is going to bounce one yard inside the end line, bounces on through the end zone for the touchback and State will put the ball in play. Wichita State Carrying the ball, Mike Junkins to the right will turn and will be shoved out of bounds as he moves it forward. Second down and six yards to go. Seven to seven the score. State and Tennessee. Wichita State handoff fullback. O'Neill, he's got a first down. As he comes moving up there close to the 41, they're going to measure it may not be a first down. It is not a first down, as you see there. Just inches short. Third down upcoming. Seven to seven the score. Mac Junkins. His team in the eye. Tennessee shifting its defense. Playing off the center now. The give goes. And here with the football is O'Neill. And O'Neill moving through left guard. Picks up the first down and 10 to go. First and 10 at the state 45. Prince McJucket. Pitch. Loss. Rolls out of bounds before anybody can get to it. So since state was the team with last possession. It retains the football. But loses on the play seven yards. On the mishandled pitch out. Intended for Hobson. Mac Junkins on second and 17. Back to throw. Looking across the middle. The pass is complete. Rifled into the waiting grasp of Murphy for a gain of 13 yards. A second look from the sideline. Number 40 for Tennessee is safety man Bill Bates. Mac Junkins sets up. There's the pass. And you see it was received by Murphy who came back to meet it. It will be third down and four. Tennessee 7, Wichita State 7. Wichita State with the ball. O'Neill, he's got a first down. He continues to roll downfield, rambling forward for a gain of 7. And it's first down 10 at the Tennessee 42-yard line. First and 2. State this time for the first time since uh, Eccles in motion. McJunkins will run with the football. Now he starts left, back to the right, still on his feet. Has the ball at the 30, down to the Tennessee 25-yard line. He's forced out of bounds by Jenkins, and you saw Jenkins go down on the sideline again with that injured hamstring. Right now, McJunkins on the second look. Dangerous, darting quarterback. Using his blockers brilliantly, then steps out of bounds, and right there you see Jenkins grabbing that right leg, and he'll be relieved at the left corner by Terry Daniel. McJunkins first down, handoff O'Neill, and this is O'Neill down to the 20-yard line. Blasted there by 84 Ingram. But it's second down and right at five yards to go. Man in motion. This is McJunkins. 
on the option. He'll keep, he'll cut. He's got the ball at the 15, at the 10, at the 5. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Wichita State. A second look at a brilliant individual effort by Prince Mac Junkins. There you see the cut. Now you'll see another cut right here. And it's a touchdown for Wichita State. State leads by a score of 13 to 7. And in to attempt the extra point will be Schroeder. 13 to 7 is the score. That extra point is blocked by Reggie White of Tennessee. Blocked by White, a second look as Big 92. There you see him high in the air, swatting the ball down. And so the first half comes to a close with the score. Wichita State leading Tennessee 13 to 7. Second half will be getting underway. 13 to 7, a shocked Tennessee homecoming crowd as the Shockers are leading 13 to 7. On the sideline, that was number 16, Steve Alatori. Could be that he'll be starting in the second half for Tennessee offensively at quarterback. The Vols will be kicking off as Wichita State will get its hands on the football leading 13 to 7. The second half is underway, and here's the kick coming downfield. And State will pull it down near the goal line. 5, 10, out to the 15. And he is tackled as he moves the ball to about the 17-yard line. But on the play, Wichita State was judged illegal use of hands. So the penalty moves at half the distance to the goal back to the 8-yard line. State with the ball. O'Neill trying the left side of the line. Nothing there. White was there for Tennessee along with Leonard Jackson. A second look. O'Neill. There you see Jackson at the bottom of the stack. Wampler, 77, 84 is Ingram. So it's got to be second down. Wichita State with McJunkins. Rolling to the near side, looking to throw. Here's the pass. It is complete as it was caught by Eccles. And then he is knocked down again, roughly of six yards. It's third down and four yards to go. O'Neill, no. Ricky Holt, 83, was there. Jackson was there. Wampler was there. Fourth down. And in the punt will be Wichita State. Long punt taken by Golf. Reverse pivot. Moving to the near sideline. One block, two blocks. Moves inside another. And is tackled. Alford's punt, a brilliant one of 41 yards from the end zone. Eight yards on the return. Tennessee puts the ball in play at the 46-yard line. Alatory is the quarterback. Throwing the pass downfield. It's complete. Anthony Hancock makes the catch for Tennessee again on the play of 14 yards to the end zone for a second look as Alatori play action fake to Barry rolling to the left Mayo setting up the block pass complete with it Hancock first and 10 for the volunteers at the 40 yard line of the Shockers Wichita State 13 Tennessee 7 Alatori pitch with it Barry blocked by Furness moves outside another block has the football moving to the 30 yard line is shoved out of bounds as he carries it all the way to the 29-yard line of State. A second look, and you see the blocking four, and you see the senior from Natchez, Mississippi, James Berry. Stiff arm, fights his way for extra yardage, enough for the first and 10. First and 10 at the 29. Alatori fakes, now gives off to Furness, and here comes Furness pounding straight up the middle. And he carries the ball for a gain of seven as shadows lengthen across Shields Watkins Field. The ball is trail 13 to 7. I formation, five man front, Wichita State. Alatori on the pitch to Berry, cuts inside. He's got a first down as the balls continue this time to move wide to the left side. Sliding in sli inside the block of Furnace was Berry. And the balls have moved for the first down and 10 to go to the 16 yard line of the Shockers. Alatori for Tennessee, his team in the I formation. Alatori handoff, Furnace starts right, gets a little opening, as you see, cutting back to the interior. Not much there. Second down upcoming. Tennessee in the football game, trailing 13 to 7. Now this will be Barry, and this will be Barry all the way down to the one-yard line, almost into the end zone. The officials say he was down a foot shy. A second look for the ground-level camera. Alatori to Barry. Good blocking, good running, good diving. Tennessee with the ball, a foot away from a score. It's 13-7 Wichita State, but Tennessee has taken the ball here in the third period. 
they've got it right down there at the goal line. Alatori looking at the South stands, which are filled over 94,000 fans officially. This is Barry Hurdling. Touchdown, Tennessee. James Berry scores for the Volunteers, number 34 with a touchdown leap. And with the score 13-13, Raves can break the tie. Held by Olszewski, the kick is good. And Tennessee leads Wichita State by a score of 14-13. Rave will be kicking off. Here's the kick coming downfield. A bouncer taken inside the five-yard line. With it is Murphy running horizontally back to the 13 or 14 where he shoved out of bounds. And at that point, Wichita State will have the ball. Ball at the 18-yard line. Prince McJuckins cuts to the 19, and that's all. 84, Ingram. 77, Wampler waiting on him. Gain, well, really not much on the play. Second down, about eight yards to go. Handoff O'Neill. He comes up the center, and he's going to have a first down, fighting his way with great effort. Carrying that ball forward was O'Neill. And it will be first down and 10 to go. Again, it's O'Neill. This time he's popped and dropped by Chris Wampler. Wampler got excellent penetration at the snap of the ball. A second look, 77 Wampler. Playing on the left side. There you see that great anticipation. He, he broke through the opening in the offensive line and drops O'Neill for no gain. Second down, 10. Mac Junkins, misdirection, pitch with the ball, Hobson, 30, 35, out of bounds at the 36-yard line on a horse collar grab. And it will be a gain of six, third and four. Mac Junkins wants to throw the football. Will pull it down and will be knocked down short of the first down by Reggie White. Reggie White flips him down. It's fourth down, and Alford comes in the punt. Here's the punt coming downfield, backing up Galt under the ball. Inside is 15, starts to the left, back to the right, now back to the left, and moves it back for a gain on the return of maybe four yards. And Tennessee will put the ball in play at its 17-yard line, leading 14 to 13. Alatori, handoff with it. This is Furnace. He hurdles forward for a gain of four yards. It will be second down and six at the 21. Wichita State in a 5-2 against Tennessee with the strength of the ball formation to the left. Running back to the weak side is Barry. And then he nudges the ball. An excellent effort. Close to a first down. It will be third down and right at one yard to go. Just outside the 26-yard line. Barry up the middle. I think he got the first down. Needed to get to the 27, move the ball to the 28. Tennessee first down and 10 to go. Leading 14 to 13, third period of the game. The ball's in the eye formation. Strength is to the right with Cooper. Hand off to Furnace. He runs behind the blocking of the strong side of the line and moves the ball forward for about three yards. It will be second down and seven for Tennessee. This is Barry. And Barry is cracked as he moves forward. Excellent defensive play by Wichita State's Lambeth. Gain on the play of three more. So it's third and four. Tennessee, here's the reverse. Give comes to Hancock around the right side, out to the 39-yard line, and that will be enough for the first down. Hancock gives Tennessee the first down on the reverse, left to right. So with the score, 14-13, Tennessee lines it up first down and 10 to go. Alatori, play action, now moves back to throw, here is the pass, complete, Cooper pulls it down, has the ball at the 35-yard line, he's on his way at the 30, down to the 25, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, he is tackled at the 4-yard line. A second look at this pass and run from Alatori to tight end Mike Cooper. There's Alatori setting it up, loops the pass, nice catch by Cooper. And there you see him fighting, getting a block downfield from Miller, but then the halfback is able to catch him and wrestle him down at the four-yard line, where Tennessee will have it first down and goal to go. Tennessee lines up with the power eye. 
strength or wing to the right side. Carrying the ball is Barry. Barry right down to the one-yard line. Tennessee at that point will have it. Second down and goal. State digging in defensively. Trailing in the game 14 to 13. Trying to stop Tennessee as this drive or score was set up by Cooper's catch and run. Alatori, Barry left side. Touchdown, Tennessee. James Berry carries it in for the touchdown, and the balls now will try to make the difference eight as Ravage comes on to attempt the extra point. The kick is up. Let's wait and see. It hooked off, but it is good. So Tennessee leads Wichita State by a score of 21 to 13, and Ravage is kicking off. Another bouncer. Taken at the goal line by State to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, out to the 20, still on his feet to the 22-yard line. Returning the ball is Stewart, and it will be first down and 10 to go. State with McJunkins. Hand off O'Neill, nothing much there that time. Gain of a yard. Holt there on the tackle for Tennessee, the freshman end. Second down, 9. McJunkins. Option keep in trouble. Rumpler wraps him up and drops him for no gain. Actually a loss of a yard on the play. Tennessee containing McJunkins better. He's back to throw. The pass downfield is incomplete. Peoples had a shot at the interception, but the ball caromed off his shoulder and falls to the turf incomplete. Fourth and ten. State with Alford on the punt. Tennessee leading 21 to 13. Snap. Punt is away. Tennessee with the return. It's golf. Watching the ball and pulling it down. Golf back to the 45 and carries the ball to the 47-yard line. Tennessee will have it at that point, leading 21 to 13 in the third period, nearing the end of the third quarter. High formation for the balls against the five-man front. Alatori now has Coleman at tailback. Pitch to Coleman. Coleman cuts inside a block and is stood right up. Beautiful play that time by Wichita State defensively. And on the play, Tennessee is judged holding, so a penalty moves the ball back to the 40 where it's first down and 17. Alatori back to throw. Long pass downfield. It is intercepted by Wichita State. Intended for Wilson. It's intercepted by State. And the third period comes to a close with Tennessee leading 21-13. to State will put the ball in play now in the fourth period, moving toward the south end of the football field. Mac Junkins at quarterback. Here he comes. Turns the corner. Containment breaks down. He carries the ball downfield, and it will be a gain on the play of right at 15 or 16 yards. Ball moves to the 48-yard line of Tennessee. Hand off O'Neill, and O'Neill through the right side of the line is tackled by Burns, but he moves forward for gain on the play. As Wichita State is moving now after the interception. McJunkins, the pass. Here's the throw. It is broken up, incomplete. Fine defensive play. Now a marker is down. Penalty marker dropped. And it's called pass interference against Tennessee's Lee Jenkins. So penalties playing a part. The ball moved down to the 30-yard line of Tennessee. Wichita State, McJunkins. Option. Turns. Carries the ball and loses it on a swat. It is Tennessee diving after the ball and covering it, but I think out of bounds. The Volunteers, Johnny Williams, just barely late getting there, so State retains possession, losing on the play. O'Neill gets running room through the right side of the line and moves forward for about four yards. It's got to be third down and 13. Wichita State, McJunkins. Pitching, Hobson turns the corner, moves the ball down, close to a first down. He's knocked down, close to a first down. I think a penalty marker is dropped back upfield, however. That's the case. Illegal procedure, as you can see, the left side of the state line jump. So the penalty is assessed, and Wichita State has the ball. Back to throw, McJunkins. Pass complete, taking it to the 40. To the 35, to the 30, down to the 25-yard line comes Wichita State's Murphy. And at that point, it is going to be a penalty tacked on as Tennessee is judged grabbing a face mask in the open field. 
And so another penalty against Tennessee. Moves the ball to the 11-yard line. State trailing 21 to 13, but now threatened. Two critical penalties here against Tennessee. State with the ball. And the state team again, I think, jumped off sides or judged illegal procedure. So a five-yard penalty moves the ball back to the 16-yard line. Mac Junkin, that quarterback for Wichita State. Here he comes. He's going to run with the football down to the 10. Knocked down as he moves to the six-yard line. Mac Junkin's getting outside. Tennessee's containment knocked down, and though he fumbled the ball, it's ruled he fumbled after he was down. Let's take a second look at the run by McJunkins and the fumble. McJunkins trying to ask for quiet to no avail. Here he comes. O'Neill setting up a block now. McJunkins down. He carries the ball. Is hit. There is the fumble. But the linesman says he was down. So, Wichita State. Pitch hops it at the corner. Turns and is knocked down by Peoples short of the goal line. Third down, a couple of yards to go. Tennessee 21, Wichita State 13. Mac Junkins at quarterback, handoff O'Neill. He's got a first down, moving it down inside the one yard line. First and goal, Wichita State. Tennessee 21, State 13. This drive with McJuggins diving. Touchdown for Wichita State. Called by the umpire, a Missouri Valley official. So now Wichita State has the option. They trail by two. Undoubtedly, they'll go for the two-point conversion, and that's the situation. Tennessee in its goal line defense, leading now by two points, 21 to 19. McJuggins. On the option to the left. Carries the ball. Drives it down. Now loops the pass into the end zone. It's good. Now the officials, as you saw, the referee went over to ask if he went past the three-yard line. Let's take a second look. Mac Junkins will carry the ball. Line of scrimmage is the three. Mac Junkins moving it. Well, the officials say he did not move past the three-yard line, and a great, great individual effort by McJunkins, throwing the ball into the end zone, and it was caught by Jones. Tennessee's Carlton Peoples asking if he did not move past the three. Now, here's an onside kick try. Great play. Who was that? Mike Castile from Maryville with a sensational save. As State attempting the onside kick, and Castile made a brilliant, brilliant play to give Tennessee possession. So the Volunteers have the ball. Alatori on the option, throws the ball complete with his handcuff, dancing, fighting his way for extra yardage. Alatori to Hancock. It's now a tie game at 21-21. The ball's with the ball at the 37-yard line of the Shockers. Alatori for Tennessee, his team in the I formation. Pitch will come to Barry. Juggles the ball, falls on it after the fumble. But the balls lose valuable first down yardage on the play. It'll be second down 11. Now there's a whistle sounding as on the play. Tennessee says the official illegal procedure. Now Tennessee's Lee North is in there saying should have been the other way, and that's exactly what it's going to be. Wichita State encroachment as the middle guard established contact split crew working this football game three from the Missouri Valley and three from the Southeastern Conference Tennessee will have the ball after the five yard penalty pitch Barry cuts back to the inside gets a block turns to the corner Barry at the football 20 stumbles and falls as he moves to the 14 might have gone all the way but he lost his footing a second look is Alatori Pitches the ball to Berry. There's the block inside. Great move by Berry. Now a block by Mayo clearing it, and then Berry stumbles and falls as he moves to the 14-yard line. Gain on the play of 19. It will be first down and 10 to go for Tennessee at the 14-yard line. With the ball, Furnace, and this is Furnace pounding straight ahead. He moves the ball down to the 8-yard line. Tennessee lining up in a 21-21 game. Pitch will go to Berry. 
That's Coleman. Fumbles the ball and falls on it. Coleman had come on to relieve Perry. And as he got to the right side and had blocking in front of him, he fumbled the ball and fell on it. So Tennessee now has it third down and six yards to go after a two-yard loss. Alatori for Tennessee. Looking over the defense. Bootleg goes right. Is hit and is down. Fumbles the ball and it has been recovered by Wichita State. A second look as Tennessee's apparent scoring drive is stopped. Alatori on the bootleg. He's hit and Alatori says he was down. But again, the Missouri Valley official who's on the play says he was not down and Wichita State stops the drive. The Shockers. Hand off with the ball O'Deal. He's stopped by Wampler. 21-21 the score. Rolling right, looking to throw. Will be McJuggan. Here's the pass. It is complete. Tight end with the ball. Jones breaks the tackle to the 40. 45-50. 45-40. 35-30. He stepped out of bounds. He's continuing to run. Goes all the way into the end zone. But I think he stepped out of bounds. That he did. Back at the 25-yard line. A second look. Great individual effort by McJuggan. Here you see him looking, waiting for the very last moment. Pass complete to Jones. Jones breaks a couple of tackles and now pops three. He's racing along the west sideline. Looks over his shoulder and steps out of bounds. Carries the ball out into the end zone for what appeared to be a touchdown. But he was out of bounds at the 25. State 21, Tennessee 21. State now in definite scoring position after that long pass and run. They come to the line. They send a man in motion to the left side. Mac Junkins on a pitch to Hobson, juggles it. Now gets outside to the 25, and he is blasted down by Peoples as Harper and Peoples team up on the tackle. 21-21, final period. Seconds ticking away. Inside six minutes to go in the football game. Mac Junkins, handoff. O'Neill, not much there. As he grinds straight ahead to the 25-yard line. State now, a field goal from this distance would be 42 yards. McJunkins on third, back to throw, waiting. Here's the pass across the middle. Intercepted, Harper, Tennessee. The Volunteers with the ball at the five. Back to the 10, moving out to the 15. Harper with the ball is tackled as he gets to the 17-yard line. Tennessee's Daryl Harper with a pass interception and run back. A second look at the play by Harper. There's a penalty marker down on the play, incidentally. Here's the throw. It's Harper intercepted. Harper now cutting back across the grade. Gets one block, gets another block. Carries the ball out and is tackled. And on the play, Tennessee is guilty of clipping. So a penalty of half the distance to the goal. Moves the ball back to the volunteer eight-yard line. Alatori for the ball. Rolling right in the end zone. Will run. Cuts up field to the 10. Breaks through a tackle. Has the ball at the 15. Spinning forward. Fighting to the 16-yard line for a gain of eight yards. Second down, two yards to go. Score in the game, 21-21. Tennessee, Wichita State, the ball deep in their own territory. Less than five minutes to go. Hand off, Furness, Furness up the middle. Furness rambling forward, carries for the first down. A second look. This is Furness, 15, 20, 25, 30, out to the 31-yard line. First and 10 for the Volunteers. Score remains 21-21. The ball's with the ball, lining it up. Here's the pitch. It's a reverse to Lenny Taylor. Taylor gets outside a block, has the ball at the 30. Is shoved out of bounds as he moves for a gain of five yards to the 36-yard line. Second down five for Tennessee. Tied 21-21. Battling on homecoming 1981. Elatori handoff Furnace. Furnace fighting, and he lunges forward close to a first out. Out to the 40-yard line. Third down, a yard to go for the first down. It's tied 21-21. Alatori, handoff, Barry. Barry's got a first down, and he comes to the 46-yard line. The ball's moving straight at Wichita State. The clock a factor. Penalty battling both the defense of the Shockers and time in the final period of the game. Alatori, rolling right, wants to throw. Pass downfield, complete Hancock. Hancock wide open underneath, makes the catch as they're laying off him. Then Stewart comes up to make the tackle, but it's a first down on the pass of 17 yards. Alatori's pass, Hancock with it, moves inside the state 40, down to the 37 and a half yard line. 
first and ten. Tennessee to the line. I formation. 21-21. Pitch to Barry. Barry at the right side is slung down. Ball is loose, but Barry was down on the play. However, a penalty marker is down, and Tennessee is going to be judged with illegal procedure. Five-yard step-off. It's first down, 15 at the 42. Alatori now coming to the near side. Rips the pass. Com complete to Hancock. And Hancock moves the ball downfield for what should be another first down, I think. We'll wait and see. Second look. Alatori. Spinning to the left on the option. The pass complete. Hancock with the ball. Fights for all he can get. And he gets it down, as you see, right inside that red marker, which is the lead marker of the first down. It's first and 10, Tennessee. The ball 21. The Shockers 21. Tennessee at the 26-yard line. Handoff tolls. Tolls pounding over right guard. Down to the 23-yard line. Second down, seven. Tennessee. Alatori looking over the defense. Pitch goes to Barry. Gets a block from Tolls, but not enough. And right there waiting on him for a fine tackle was Johnston. Gain on the play of a yard or two. Tennessee breaking the huddle. Wanting at least to get into field goal range for Fuad Reves. The score is tied 21-21. Final period. Final minute to the game. Alatori for the ball. Hand off. Furness. Furness has a first down. He fights it straight ahead and moves the ball, as you see, down to the 13-yard line. Tennessee with it. Hand off again. This time it is Furness. The clock shows 13 seconds to go in the football game. And here comes Fouad Reves on to attempt a field goal. Number four is Reves setting the tee. Number five is O'Chesney who will hold. Tennessee has used its final timeout. Wichita State used a timeout to give Reves a chance to think about it. Snapping is Rumsey. There's Ocheski. Score tied 21-21. The snap. It's down. The kick is up. The kick says Reves is good. What does the referee say? It is good. Tennessee wins over Wichita State by a score of 24-21. There were a lot of big plays in the game. One of the big plays for the Volunteers came on the third period. Tennessee was on top 14-13. Then Steve Alatori and Mike Kufert teamed up on a long, almost touchdown pass. That's right. We ran a three-option pass. Well, I act like I'm going to block the corner. Then I just go back, and Steve hit me with a good pass, and I just did what I could do good do to get it down there. Tennessee went on to score in that drive, and really, as it turned out, that sort of set things up for the final few dramatics. But it was a big play, and your only catch of the day. That's right. That's right. It was my only catch. It was the biggest one for me probably since I've been here, and I believe it turned the game around a little. About two more steps, you would have been there. That's right. Two more steps, and I could have had me one. This is offensive tackle John Matthews from Memphis. John, your thoughts on the offensive line performance against Wichita State? <laughs> well, I tell you, it was a fine victory for one thing. And with guys like Lee North up there, and you got Yanni, two big seniors up there, and then we got David James, we just all came together. You know, we knew what we had to do, and we came together right there out on that field while everybody else was screaming and hollering. And we just said, hey, if we're going to win this game, we got to say, hey, it's on us. If it is to be, it's up to me. Each one of us took it upon ourselves to move that ball down the field. Tennessee got the ball back in the final few stages. With about four and a half minutes left to go. You had to get a couple first downs, and you did it. Well, I tell you, Lee North took us to those first downs. Because when we came back into the huddle, he said, hey, fellas, hey, it's time for us to move this ball down. He said, this is our last shot. And if we want to win our homecoming, we're going to have to do it now. So we, everybody took it upon themselves to block their man, not worry about what happened or what, any, what the crowd was doing. And we took it upon ourselves to, to take care of our job individually, and that's what we tried to do. One of the defensive standouts for the Volunteers, Chris Wampler, he was all over the field all day long. Chris, I thought you best game. I think so, too. You know, I, I felt like I had a good game, but I feel like it's a good team effort. It seemed like, did you do anything differently this week? It just seems like you're around the football every snap. Uh, we, you know, we have some problem, problems in the second half. I was playing nose guard. And uh, they switched me back to read tackle, and, you know, I just had a good game. Chasing McJunkins, though, was made it a long afternoon, didn't it? I tell you, excellent quarterback. You know, uh, looks like three or four times we have him bottled up, and he would just get away from us somehow. He's a good quarterback. Keeping him penned in was tough, but you did that fairly well. 
Yeah, the second half we uh, you know changed some things up and we got him contained pretty good. Tennessee's defense, I thought early in the third period was the key. He kept them bottled up. Yes, yeah, so we had some you know some luck uh, in the kicking game, and we had them backed up and we had an opportunity to keep them down there. Another big play for the Volunteers. Daryl Harper had a big interception in the fourth period, thwarting a Wichita State drive. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell us about the play and why did you get the, the Oski? Well, we was in a man underneath coverage, bumping trail technique, and I got a good collision on him, and I was able to stay with him on his inside hip. What was going through your mind when uh, Frankie kicked the field goal? Well, I just was very happy and excited. I, it was my first homecoming victory since my 11th grade year in high school, and <laughs> it was really thrilling for me because of that fact, and I was just really happy to win again and happy for Ford to kick that field goal for us. The game really boiled down to nine seconds left to go. Fawad Revez kicked the field goal for the Tennessee victory. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I guess it's got to be the biggest field goal of your career ever. It sure was, the biggest. What were you thinking about when you went out in the field? Hitting the ball. Well. By Winston. That's really it. I, I wasn't even thinking about making the field goal. Were, the, were your teammates talking to you? They sort of leave you alone and let you sort of concentrate. Everybody was just telling me, you know, come on, let's do it. Let's hit it. So I feel I felt like if I couldn't let him down, but I wasn't I just threw that thought away because if I think about what I should do, I shouldn't do, then that's really gonna mess me up. You nailed it. It was a no doubt or one. I knew they were coming after it, so I had to hit it hard. Got a good snap and a good hold too. That was important. Oh, I tell you, uh, Oshesky did a great job. All, all of the kicks and everything, the line held everybody right off my back. I thought they would be right on top of me after I kicked it, but nobody was even within three feet away. Might be the first of many for you, let's hope. I hope so, too. So the homecoming victory put away. The volunteers now concentrate on Ole Miss, the Rebels in town next Saturday here at Neyland Stadium. This is Bob Kessling reporting from the Tennessee Locker Room.